what happened to me this morning was something that I realized was um, it's been a part of my identity for a long part of my life, but I never really put words in on it until uh, this morning. And even right now, trying to understand what I'm trying to say is maybe not so clear. But what I realized is uh, I went to the gym this morning. I wake up, if you guys don't know, I wake up, wake up pretty early every day or usually around 5 a.m. And um, about three or four days a week, I go to the gym and I usually go first thing in the morning. It's like the first thing I do before I even, you know, feed the animals, uh, check my email, do anything for anybody else. I go for myself first and foremost and go, okay, that's not exactly true. The cat always needs his food before I go to the gym. So, because he'll just meow the entire time I'm gone. So I'll make sure that he's fed. So once the cat's fed and he's happy, um, I do go to the gym. And what I realize is, you know, it's Saturday morning now, um, as I'm recording this and there were maybe only like five or 10 people in the entire gym. And it's a pretty big gym where I go. And I realize, you know, it's kind of cool that us little gang here, even though I don't really talk to anybody, I'm there just to work out. And it's not like a social thing for me. Um, we are the few weirdos in a way that show up to the gym Saturday mornings at 5 a.m. You know, how many people do that? Well, like I said, five or 10 of us were there that early. And it made me think, you know, this has kind of been a sort of theme running through my entire life, through my career, especially with sync licensing. And this is where it kind of ties to you guys. When you want to get to where you want to go in life, you're going to find yourself in those kinds of groups more often than not. So you're not going to find yourself in a huge group of people all doing really, really well at something. It's usually not how life works. What you usually find is you're going to be one of the few doing something and sticking with something or going to the gym at 5 a.m., and and um and showing that commitment to yourself and to whatever it is you're trying to achieve, right? And so I realized, you know, with sync licensing, I'm definitely one of the few who stuck with this thing long enough to see it turn into full time income. Um, and it's been kind of a theme throughout many other areas of my life where I found myself starting off with a lot of people, a lot of excitement, a lot of, you know, Hey, you go to the gym, you just see this packed gym. Um, you get into sync licensing, like most of you guys are, and you see this just packed arena of all these people trying to get into sync licensing. So it starts off in a really crowded place, but as you go forward, you want to start to create this kind of a, or at least I'm realizing, I'm glad that I did create an identity. And I, I want to share this with you guys. You want to create kind of an, an identity of I'm one of the few who, and fill in the blank, whatever this is for you. So some examples of this for me, I could say like, I'm one of the few who um, stuck with sync licensing, even when my royalty checks were basically slapping me across the face and telling me to give up, you know? And I'm one of the few producers who uh, continuously asked libraries what they needed and continuously supplied them with music and didn't only think about, well, what do I wanna do? What kind of music do I wanna make? I really tried to serve the needs and be useful for other people in this world and in this industry. So I was one of the few that was able to do that. Um, you know, for my YouTube channel, I realized like a lot of people have started and stopped YouTube channels in the history of YouTube. It's been a lot. And even in the world of sync licensing, there's a few other channels out there that talk about this. Um, but I'm one of the few that's been consistent. That's just when I started my channel, I should say in the beginning, I didn't start consistently. Um, I just threw a bunch of videos up and walked away from it. But after about eight months or a year, I was like, hey, you know what? I think I should just be consistent on this and just every week put out a couple of videos and steadily grow kind of a cool community here. And so, yeah, I found out I was one of the few who stuck with YouTube and kept putting, um, you know, videos out there basically every single week. And that's why you guys are all here. That's the only reason, you know, that we're all here together, you know, having this really cool interaction and hanging out is I became one of the few that just stuck with it. And you guys discovered me in whatever way you discovered me, probably through YouTube. Usually you guys do. So I want you guys to think about this for yourselves in terms of what is what are those things that you can say, I'm one of the few producers who do this, right? I'm one of the few producers who can finish an entire album and pitch it to one library that I really feel is going to be a good fit for me. Or I'm one of the few producers that actually does his or her research on what library I'm going to be submitting to. I'm not just going to throw them out to a bunch of libraries and see what sticks, but I'm actually going to know who I'm pitching to, right? That's what you're doing with hopefully like Sync Edge or your other, you know, whatever research you're doing to find your music libraries. That's what I hope, you know, you guys are doing. So crafting kind of a story or an identity for yourself to realize that when you do this full time, you will not be surrounded by a lot of people doing it full time. I'm just going to spoil the party for you. It would be great if you could just have, you know, hundreds and hundreds of, of your friends and buddies and everybody all doing well with sync licensing and all succeeding and making music their full time job. But 
that's just not going to be your reality. It hasn't been mine. At least I can say that is I've had, you know, I went to school for music and got a degree in recording arts and music business. I always forget even what I majored in. Um, it's really hasn't been that relevant for me actually. Um, but of all the people that have, I graduated with, I think there might be one or two other people that are still doing music full time. Um, everybody else found a different path and that's cool. Like I'm not trying to be judgmental or put anybody down. You go with wherever life takes you. Right. And you take your choices and you take your risks and you have other responsibilities. And so, you know, it's, everybody's on their own journey. Right. I don't want to come across as condescending or something like that. But I'm definitely, I can say, one of the few who stuck with music and figured out a way to make music still my full-time income. So start putting that in your head. Start swirling that around a little bit. Think about that. Maybe there could be something for yourself that you can say, I am the one, one of the few who do this. And that might actually help you define yourself as a more um, serious and uh, successful producer. Um, because with all of this stuff, really what we're talking about here is it's like positive self-talk. We talk about this in the Sync Psych series within Sync Academy. If you guys are not doing active um, positive talk for yourselves on a daily basis or at least a weekly basis, you know, you're basically just allowing wherever your brain wants to go to take you wherever it's going to take you. And a lot of times it's going to take you in places of self-doubt and lack of motivation. And I don't know if I'm good enough. And this might be too long. There's too many unknowns. You know what your brain usually does, right? When you just leave it alone, it usually you just, it's just chaos and noise. So by, you know, thinking about this, like what are the, what are those things that I am one of the few producers that do? It puts your mind, it focuses your mind in a much more productive place and to start getting you uh, to feel a little bit better, hopefully about where you're going forward in this business. So anyways, just an interesting thought I had this morning. I wanted to share with you guys.